Hello, Jeff Yenser, and a friend of mine was asking, what is the best way to copy and paste content into a WordPress blog, such as an email that you get from somebody that's interesting that you might want to put on your blog, or a Word document, or uh, something from another person's website. Now, first of all, I will mention, I do not recommend copying content from other people's website. Google does not like duplicate content, and Google can penalize you in the search engines if you're copying and pasting content from other people's websites. Now, if you're going to modify it by adding commentary or something like that, then it can be a good thing. But otherwise, I don't recommend it. Um, so let's show how to copy and paste here the best way. Um, first of all, I am just editing a post. You can see I'm in the edit post mode in the WordPress uh, back end here. On the end here, I've got a little icon called Show Hide Kitchen Sink. I'm going to click on that to reveal the second row if it's not already showing. If it's already there, you don't need to click that. Because I'm going to use one of these buttons in a second here. Now I'm going to go over to an email message that I got and uh, go ahead and just highlight some of this text. I'm going to right click on it, select copy, come back to my blog, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little box right here with a little T that's in it. And when I hover over it, it says paste as plain text. And I'm going to click on that. And it says right here use control V, which is the, just the keyboard shortcut for paste. Same as paste. And then I'm going to click insert. And there it is. It's in my document. And it's in there as plain text. And I like to use this. Because whenever you take something that has formatting in it, this actually strips the formatting out of it, like colors of text and different things. Because when you try to paste stuff like that into WordPress, you get very unpredictable results. And it can just look like a complete mess. Add a whole bunch of code to the page that then is just a struggle to work with. So most of the time, you're better off just pasting it in like this. And then using the tools that are here, such as the heading, the bold, the text color, that kind of thing. Using the add image button if you want to add images to it. Or however you want to format it to your liking is a lot better than trying to paste formatted text in here to begin with. Just paste it in this plain text and then format it as you like. Same thing applies to something coming from a Word document, especially Word is notorious for putting all kinds of crazy code that really can make your site look like crap. And so I like to use this paste as plain text feature. And then I can go ahead and edit away to my heart's content how I like it. This is Jeff Yenser, web 2.0 videos.info. Lots of other how to WordPress videos as well as search engine optimization videos. Um, email marketing, all kinds of internet marketing videos. Go on over, check them out, and learn some cool stuff. Thanks for watching.